Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I'm coming to you uh, early to let you know about the show this coming Thursday at UCY.TV, 7 to 9 p.m. on The Voice of Humanity. Um, luckily for me, what a blessing, I have another outstanding guest lined up uh, for you guys to learn from. And my guest will be Deborah Bruner, um, by her own description, a fashion designer, writer, heiress, who had had all of her millions stolen and now lives in a tent. That's right. Um, interesting story. And it's not just a story. It's the corruption of the federal government that goes behind it. Uh, all the links that I show you now will be below. I want you to go ahead over to uh, Deborah's blog, and I'm just going to read you a short excerpt to give you an idea of uh, what you might hear during the show. Um, Let's see here, where, where was I? Uh, but you see, what happened to me and my family concerns everyone who keeps money in any kind of financial institution. The issue is not about what I once had or how much I was worth, but what having it all stolen by the powers that be has done to my life, left me penniless and homeless. Suddenly, you and me are on the same page, aren't we now? No, the government isn't just going after those of us who aren't part of the wealthy posse one percent they're going after whomever they choose poor and wealthy alike their goal is to render us penniless and homeless unable to retain employment or government assistance and they are committing many crimes to do this including of course federal crimes my family and i are your metaphor listen up and pay attention uh, it's all chronicled in my first book, God's on Our Side, Sweetie, But the Devil Has Control. It's available on an e-book or trade paperback uh, here on the blog, which you can check out if you wish. And it's a memoir addressing 13 years of uncovering, by default, a truth about our U.S. government that 99% of the public has no clue about. In order to get this knowledge, one would have to go through what my partner Larry and I have experienced with every government agency ever created with our tax dollars. Once you have read this book, you will understand exactly what is going on in our U.S. government behind the public's back until a victim is peeled away. Uh, and, and for many of us, this just goes right along with what we know is going on. Um, you know, so many issues that can be brought up during the show, and it's an honor uh, for Deborah. And folks, this is what it's all about. This is what the voice of humanity was designed to do. To give those that need a voice a voice and to bring information to the general public that they might not otherwise ever understand. So I hope you'll join me this Thursday. Again, that's 7 to 9 p.m. East Coast time right here at UCY.TV. The link to the uh, radio show will be below. And I'll just let you know we do have a chat room. Uh, we'll be sharing links in there and whatnot. And, um, well, that's it. And i got to say, uh, this will be the third show with a guest, fourth show total. First one was all about me to bring everybody up to date on who I am, what I stand for, why I'm here, et cetera, et cetera. But then three back-to-back -back powerful shows. Carol from Kentucky, who's fighting uh, the workman's comp uh situation. She gave us an informative show. You can catch that in the archives. And then last week, uh, just the other night, Rich, the Foo Foot Foo, gentleman from Massachusetts uh, who had been brutalized by car arms. And if you were there for the show, you know that uh, it, there seemed to be something fishy going on with the sound. And, and uh, I had issues before the show. Uh, it did seem like somebody was trying to stop that show, but they were unable to do that. And now a third outstanding guest with the type of information that has always been hidden right in plain view. So to my coming guest, Deborah, it's an honor. To everybody else, uh, please, if you're in one of these situations where you have this kind of information or, or you need a voice or you need a community to get it out in and to build support, the Voice of Humanity was designed just for these things. So share the information and stand up, people. Uh, stand up. I know there's many of you uh, out there that'll see this video that um, have been debating since I came back on air. Do I have the guts to do it? And uh, if you ask uh, Rich or Carol, uh, once you stand up 
and you get it out and you take that stand it's the best medicine you'll ever receive so anyway much love many thanks and to everybody uh i'll see you thursday night live right over here ucy.tv